Why do your dreams seem to vanish the moment you wake up? Many people struggle with remembering the details of their nighttime adventures. Recent studies propose that our inability to recall dreams might serve as an evolutionary defense, shielding our minds from the chaos of the dream world. This discovery opens up a flood of intriguing questions about consciousness, reality, and our very existence. Let's explore the depths of dream amnesia and reveal the surprising truth that could forever change how you view your sleep. Decoding Dream Amnesia While we sleep, our minds enter a different state of consciousness. The prefrontal cortex, which handles logic and decision-making, steps aside as other brain areas become active. This creates the ideal environment for dreams, vivid, often bizarre experiences that feel real while we're immersed in them. But once we wake up, these dreams begin to slip away. This process, known as dream amnesia, affects almost everyone. Even the most detailed dreams can vanish within moments of waking. Scientists have long been puzzled by this strange feature of human cognition. Why would our brains create such complex scenarios only to erase them almost instantly? New research indicates that a delicate balance of brain chemistry and evolutionary adaptation is at play. As we shift from sleep to wakefulness, the chemicals that govern dream formation and memory storage change rapidly. This shift makes it hard for dreams to move from short-term to long-term memory. Now, let's dive into the intriguing reasons why you can't remember your dreams. The Reality Firewall. Hypothesis, your brain might be erasing your dreams as a defense mechanism. Dreams often break the rules of physics and logic. You might fly, breathe underwater, or experience other impossible scenarios. If these memories remain too vivid, they could blur the line between dreams and reality. Some neuroscientists suggest that our brains have evolved a reality firewall a mechanism that suppresses dream memories quickly to help us maintain a clear sense of the real world. This theory hints that those who remember too many dreams may be more likely to confuse fantasy with reality, which can contribute to mental health issues. Studies on people with schizophrenia show that many have trouble differentiating between dreams and real-life experiences. This blending of dream and reality is a common feature of certain psychological conditions. Forgetting our dreams may actually reinforce our understanding of what's real and what's imagined. The Emotional Overload Prevention System Dreams aren't just random brain activity, they often carry strong emotions. In dreams you might feel extreme joy, deep fear or overwhelming sadness. But what if those powerful emotions lingered into your waking life? Psychologists propose that dream amnesia may act as an emotional buffer. By forgetting most of our dreams, we avoid being weighed down by unnecessary emotional baggage in our day-to-day -day lives. Ever woken up feeling upset or anxious, even when you can't recall why? Now, imagine vividly remembering every emotionally charged dream you'd start each day burdened by those leftover emotions. A study in the Journal of Sleep Research found that people who remember more of their dreams also tend to score higher in neuroticism and emotional sensitivity. This suggests that forgetting dreams could protect us from emotional overload, preventing us from being overwhelmed by excessive feelings. The Subconscious Sorting Station could it be that forgetting dreams is actually part of how we process and organize information? Some experts suggest that dreams function like a subconscious sorting station where our minds sift through daily experiences, keeping essential memories and letting go of unnecessary details. In this view, the fact that we forget our dreams isn't a flaw, it's intentional. As we dream, our brains are hard at work categorizing experiences, solving problems, and forming connections. But once this process is done, there's no need to retain the dream itself. The important parts have already been stored in our long-term memory. 
A study published in Nature Neuroscience found that while we sleep, our brains replay and strengthen neural pathways tied to learning new things. This happens whether we recall the dream or not. This could explain why you sometimes wake up with the solution to a problem you've been grappling with. Even if you don't remember the dream, your subconscious mind has been actively processing and forgetting the dream is just the final cleanup after a busy night of mental organization. By the way, if you're enjoying this and want to support my small channel, a quick subscribe and like would mean so much to me. The Creativity Crucible For centuries, dreams have been linked to creativity. From Mary Shelley's Frankenstein to Paul McCartney's Yesterday, many groundbreaking ideas have come from dreams. But what if forgetting our dreams is actually key to the creative process? Some cognitive scientists argue that partial recall of dreams might fuel creativity more than total remembrance. When we wake with only fragments of a dream, our conscious mind starts filling in the blanks. In a study published in the journal Sleep, researchers discovered that people awakened during REM sleep, when most vivid dreaming occurs, showed increased creative problem-solving skills. Interestingly, this boost in creativity wasn't directly tied to the dream content, but to the process of emerging from the dream state itself. The Memory Consolidation Mechanism Sleep isn't just about rest. It's a critical time for memory consolidation. During sleep, particularly REM sleep, when most dreaming happens, our brains transfer information from short-term to long-term memory. Some scientists think that dream amnesia is a side effect of this memory consolidation process. As our brains strengthen vital memories, the dreams themselves often get discarded. A study in the journal Cell showed that the same brain mechanisms responsible for filtering out unnecessary information while we're awake are also active during sleep. This suggests that forgetting dreams could be part of a broader memory optimization strategy. Think of it like clearing your computer's cache. By forgetting dreams, your brain frees up resources and strengthens the memories that really matter. This theory might also explain why we often recall fragments of dreams related to recent concerns. Those elements are part of the memories being consolidated while the rest of the dream fades away. The Parallel Universe Protection Program Some theoretical physicists speculate about the existence of parallel universes, alternate realities where different versions of our lives unfold. Could this connect to our dreams? Some fringe theories propose that dreams might offer glimpses into these parallel realities. In this view, dream amnesia could act as a safeguard, preventing us from becoming too aware of these alternate versions of our lives. While this idea is purely speculative, quantum physics has shown that particles can exist in multiple states until observed. Some philosophers and scientists have stretched this concept to suggest the possibility of multiple realities. A study published in Physical Review X found that it's theoretically possible for two observers to experience different realities. While this doesn't prove the existence of parallel universes, it hints at the complexity of reality itself. If this theory holds any truth, forgetting dreams could be crucial for maintaining our sense of a single coherent reality like a parallel universe protection program, ensuring we don't get lost in the mind-bending possibilities of multiple selves. The evolutionary advantage of forgetting. Looking at dream amnesia from an evolutionary perspective, why would our brains evolve to forget dreams if remembering them provided a survival advantage? Some evolutionary psychologists suggest that forgetting dreams might have helped our ancestors stay focused in a dangerous world. Getting caught up in dreams could have been a dangerous distraction. Imagine a caveman dwelling on a dream while a predator was nearby. A study in Frontiers in Psychology suggests that dream amnesia could have been an adaptive trait, helping early humans distinguish between threatening real-world memories and harmless dream scenarios. 
by quickly discarding dream memories, our ancestors could focus on the dangers and opportunities around them. Research shows that we are more likely to remember threatening or survival-related dream content than neutral dreams, suggesting that our brains prioritize what's crucial for survival. The ability to separate memory sources, distinguishing between events we've experienced, imagined or dreamed, is critical for effective decision-making. Forgetting dreams might streamline this process, helping us concentrate on memories most relevant to our survival. The Consciousness Calibration Tool What if forgetting dreams is essential for maintaining our sense of self? Some philosophers and neuroscientists believe that our consciousness, our personal experience of being us, requires constant recalibration. Dreams, and the act of forgetting them, might play a key role in this process. During sleep, our brains cycle through different states of consciousness, moving from wakefulness to light sleep, deep sleep, and finally, REM sleep, where most dreams occur. Each state reflects a different configuration of our consciousness. A study published in Trends in Cognitive Sciences suggests that cycling through these states of consciousness might be necessary for maintaining a stable sense of self during wakefulness. By experiencing and then forgetting these altered states, we reinforce our waking consciousness as the real one. It's like rebooting a computer, cycling through sleep stages and then forgetting dreams ensures our waking consciousness operates smoothly. This theory could explain why people who remember too many dreams sometimes feel disconnected from reality. Their brains might not be fully resetting between sleep and waking states. The quantum mind reset. Finally, let's explore the cutting edge of neuroscience and quantum physics. Some researchers are investigating whether the brain might function, in part, at a quantum level. Quantum mechanics deals with matter and energy at extremely small scales, where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, a phenomenon called superposition. Physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff have suggested that consciousness may emerge from quantum processes within microtubules in brain neurons. If this theory is valid, it could revolutionize our understanding of dreams and memory. In this quantum view, dreaming could be a state where our brains explore multiple possibilities simultaneously, much like a quantum computer. Waking up and forgetting dreams might be analogous to a quantum system collapsing into a single state upon observation. A study in Physics of Life Reviews explored quantum effects in biological systems, including the brain. While still speculative, this research opens new possibilities for understanding consciousness and memory. If our brains do indeed operate on quantum principles, dream amnesia might be a crucial reset allowing our quantum minds to start each day fresh, unburdened by the multitude of possibilities explored during sleep. If this video touched your heart or brought value to your day, I'd be so grateful if you could subscribe and give it a like. Your support means the world to my small channel and helps me keep creating content that matters. Before you go, I'd really love to hear what this meant to you. Share your thoughts in the comments below.